Good morning, everybody. What to say, what to say. I know I put the alarm on. I just didn't hear it. <laughs> um, I posted a picture the night before I was working on the car. I got done around midnight. Went straight to bed. Uh, no horsing around. What took the longest was mine. Those amazing, great MG tires. Uh, man, that was rough. But hopefully it stays dry today. I'm lying. I, I want to see rain in the finals. Uh, extremely hydrated. Uh, drank tons of water. If you're out here in the heat, uh, I know I joke around, you know, but still, just hydrate yourself. Tons of water. Tons of, uh, I drink the, those Pedialyte sports drink. I really don't know what they're, what they're called. Uh, uh, liquid IV. I add that to the water bottles. Uh, get some water in. Uh, definitely don't don't play around with this. You could end up with a heat stroke or something worse. So heat cramps. Uh, you know, carding. They think it's an easy sport. It's not. So definitely stay hydrated. Uh, we're gonna have a good video today. Thanks to all subscribers. Uh, thanks to everybody watched the videos. Thanks for all the comments. You know, I really appreciate it. We're pulling up here to Orlando Cart Center. This is the new way to get in. It's kind of weird, kind of tight. Oh, the old Duramax, baby. Let's see. Woo! Man! Andre makes it interesting first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, interesting. Uh, oh, look at that. Everybody getting ready? Going up? Vans? Oh, no, I don't have it yet. You gotta register. Oh, man, I'm already registered. I just need to grab it. You can park here, but I, I, I haven't let anybody through. Come Thank back you. here, okay? Yeah, I know. Right, we just started and I already got in trouble. So. <laughs> I mean, um, I could see why, but at the same time I can't because uh, they closed off the main gate. And really I was just blocked off the entrance, not the main gate. That's right, so racing, they're already uh, rebuilding a generator. <laughs> rebuilding a generator. <laughs> Uh, you guys know Rice from Homestead, so yeah. Um, here we are, <laughs> getting into the to the parking lot. Uh, we will be in the back, but since we arrived late, I still got the go kart in the back of my truck. And uh, parking here is uh, immensely, immense, immensely difficult. So there's Dylan's dad. <laughs> uh, we have nowhere to park so we're gonna figure this out hopefully make it the first practice go get my wristband so i don't get yelled at and uh hopefully have a good clean race day because i really need it after bush now bush now was a wreck fest and i'm hoping orlando's not so we'll see catch you guys on track oh, oh no oh, just knows the motor mount i mean not the motor mount the gopro mounts not even hanging on anybody zip ties gotta fix that first practice in the books and not make it out there Miguel's practice is later but he's BSing so my oh, says time I gotta go take this bad boy to tech and then and, uh, you saw we made it here it took only 45 minutes to park get everything unloaded cuz uh, oh Jesus parking that's the only uh that's the only downside at the moment we have but we're ready uh our buddy matt from cart tech he's out here giving us some tips how not to pass tech yeah a stewart racing motor oh i'm joking i'm joking all right jesus i don't want i don't want me getting fired up i got two of them but i hope james and him finish in front of me I'm joking. I love you guys. Okay, I love you guys. Oh my god. Oh, that's the funniest thing. Everybody blew up about it. Yeah. Everybody's making a big deal about a little restrictor in the fuel line. I got it. I got it. It makes it makes a difference. Hocus pocus. Um, Leo goes down a little bit. And I and I didn't make it out. Uh, Gabe and Heath and Chris made it out to practice. Uh, we'll see how they ran. Competition should be good. Uh, I just got my engine done by BTM Racing. 
uh, BTM engines, Miguel's got one done by Victor Peters. Um, we're gonna try those out today, let's see how it rolls. Um, gotta fix the GoPro mount for sure, so I get some video. So we'll see. Gabe, how was practice? Uh, track is non existent right now. There's uh, standing water in some spots, very slick. So, uh, yeah. So it's good for me to miss it. Yeah. All right, so I missed it, not on purpose, but I missed it. I missed up. All right, so, perfect. At least I hadn't been in the car in like, what, six or eight weeks? Seven or eight weeks? So. Okay, so the excuses are already out on Gabe. He's already, even though this is home track and lives like 10 minutes away. So We know the track record with me here. It doesn't matter how fast I am here. I never finish. I get wrecked. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. So, you got another GoPro mount? I guess you're gonna be. I guess Gabe may be carrying the GoPro. He will be for qualifying. We are 10 minutes from qualifying, maybe 15. And look who's just now decided to do his tech sheet. Huh? He never changes. Never changes. He got here, he walked around, he talked shit, he talked to everybody. It's he, not he, that, man. I like, to, I like to say what's up. I mean, if someone walks up to me, right, and you're a subscriber, if you take the time to hit that like button or that subscribe button, I can take two minutes out of my time. 100%, I'm with you. But so you, if I, if I but he should have been like, ready. He should have been ready. Yeah, that's true. You should have been ready. So you're ready for when they show up and say hi, then you can give them your 100% attention. No questions asked. But yeah, here you are doing your tech sheet 10, 10 minutes before we start racing, so. Oh well, it is what it is, that's the norm. So if you're actually wondering what happens during race day, other than racing, this is a normal occurrence. What time you finished putting the car together last night? Uh, 12.30. 12.30. Dude, these big, these MGs were kicking my butt. Yes, they did. Yeah, they kicked my butt. These were the, probably the worst set I've ever had to, we've ever had to mount was these right here. Oh yeah, so. big time. So. All right, so now we go off to qualifying. Hopefully we can, um, you know, stay on the top row and go from there for the rest of the race, so. I don't want to be in the back. No, not here. Anywhere. Especially here. Here we're out for qualifying and I was following, I could see Matt and Phil in front of me and I just was not driving the cart hard because every time I was focusing on the wrong thing, I kept focusing on Matt sliding through the corners and just basically I was not giving it the full beans like I usually do. Um, the car was handling fine. It was just I didn't feel like I had any speed in it. So uh, later on, I figured out what was wrong with it. Um, I'm not going to say it on the video, but you can leave a comment down below and ask me or PM me. Uh, I figured out the issue but now that we have the issue resolved uh it'll be much quicker at the grands this was not a really good qualifying run uh for sure uh, matt i think took pole in the end uh phil and then james that doesn't he's like i've never turned a lap before in orlando i'm gonna be slow <laughs> man he was freaking fast right off the rip so congratulations to them uh we had a lot of work to do but we weren't gonna give up we were gonna tinker away uh, make some uh, setup changes and uh, hopefully get quicker as the day went on, which we did. Uh, a lot of testing and tuning for sure. So, I'm pretty heated after qualifying. I'm not gonna lie. I've never had an issue with my bumper, no matter where I go. There is a rule that states it must cover half the tire, but also the rule states that the bumper cannot exceed the tire. So we're gonna ignore one part of the rule and accept the other. That's all I'm going to say on the matter or the bumper rule. I really expect it better, but you know what? We just make up rules as we go. Uh, qualified P9 did not do good myself. Congratulations to Miguel. He took the pole in senior heavy. I mean, a senior, Briggs senior. Uh, he's, he's doing really well. Uh, I'm happy with mine. I just need to add some teeth because I decided to go the different route and not run the gear that I usually run. And I'm gonna pile some teeth on and it's my fault for coming in heavy. So I only have to blame myself. So I'm gonna lick my wounds again, pull my head out of my ass and start driving. Uh, congratulations to me on the pole. Now just stay out there and bring home the W man. Bring home the W, this is your track. I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked. <laughs>
<laughs> so for the pre-finals we get going and I'm behind the 44 at the start of the race um, you know it's always a mayhem always starting out uh, I want to apologize to 44 I should be on the brakes harder but uh, I had someone push me behind too he tapped the brake and I set him spinning I apologize for that it's not what I wanted to do for sure um, I would have not been happy myself so uh, it was a really good run uh, he had the gear just to freaking pull inside and his car was taking off really well he was fast all week and he had found a lot of speed uh, here Gabe gets a little sideways so I decided to go with the 809 and then uh, thinking if I get in front of Gabe uh, we could work together and start moving forward um, definitely because I'm, I'm a better passer than Gabe uh, I'm more aggressive for sure and I sense it in uh, once here he's gonna give me a good shove uh, as you can see here to my left the cart I mean you can see his bumper Gabe gives me a good shot he's just not had much uh, pickup speed uh, that ended up being the uh, majority of the issue but we got away well um, I was thinking Gabe was behind me but really the 809 was behind me uh, he uh, squeezed in front of Gabe so Marlo was behind me and then Gabe behind him and then Chris back there uh, in front of us we had uh, Barry uh, Heath uh, Matt Phil the rest of the group I could see them but I was not catching up for sure uh, Barry and Heath were having a good battle uh, loved watching that battle in front uh, coming in here I just took my normal line uh, I saw Marlo on the inside and next thing you know BAM I get hit from behind and then uh, Gabe I don't I don't know what I don't know the whole extent um, but like I said that's everything smooth in the uh, jam racing pit we got into it after uh, the pre-final for sure because I thought Gabe sent Marlo into me here Phil gets uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened but Phil was not happy right he was a heated man um, he got uh, sent spinning but you know knowing everybody up front we're, we're all clean drivers we're all good drivers and we all race to the ability of uh we get race how we race that's basically it um then chris i get the i send in I'm, I'm pretty far back and i'm pretty pretty far back i said to on chris and i feel bad because uh the 44 was behind me and he went for it too and uh they got into it and took it out so it wasn't really a good pre-final for the tb group because every tb had issues here up front uh heath uh, spun out in front of Gabe. Gabe avoided him and uh, tried to see if the cart would move the wall. So <laughs> the pre-final for us wasn't good. And then right here, I just I didn't have the speed to keep up with Heath. I just could not pull out of the corners. Like I get a good run, and then you see him just start creeping away. So I was I was kind of frustrated, and I kept it up all weekend. I was just frustrated. Um, Coming out of the turn, I would have a really good run, and but the cart wouldn't just pick up speed. So we had some tinkering to do and work to do, but as you can see there in that picture, uh, it was going to be a long weekend for me. Uh, Heath had his cart rolling. Um, I just could not just get the power down. Felt like I was spinning the tires, burning that bad boy up, but uh, <laughs> no. I had a good run. Um, I was disappointed because this is, this is the track that we're always at. We're always running fast. It just did not work out the way they expected. Plus, the amount of grip on the track was uh, insane. Uh, I know Orlando grips up, but this amount of grip was crazy. It was some monsters grip from all the classes laying down rubber. Uh, overall, good run, and uh, on to the finals. Like, literally. I got to just push the button. Push now. I'm running. Hey, I didn't turn my, my GoPro on. Bam! Chain falls off. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so Barry had a good pre-final. Where'd you end up? Ended up P2. P2. Jesus. Uh, my pre-final did not go too well. If you guys think it's all kosher between us, it's not. Gabe and I got into it after the pre-final. Because I believe something and Gabe believes something else. Yeah, Gabe doesn't run a GoPro for video evidence. So I have to take Gabe's word for it. I don't know how it happened. It happened. But he turned and looked at me. But it wasn't me. I never saw you. No, I'm saying you turned and looked. Look, yeah, you did. I never saw it's you. on camera. It, me good? When, when you went, when you went, when he was spun. <laughs> you went, well, after he spun. No. Yeah. No, no, but in the, the middle turn. In the middle turn, your yeah. face does this. 
And I, you'll see on video, it's okay. In the middle of the turn, I don't know how hat. In the middle of the turn, you see Gabe. And then you see me spin, and then Gabe looks at me. While him, he's going through the turn, he looks at me. He's dead. Then looks oh, yeah. forward and drives off. Of course. We're Before gonna... even I start spinning, you see your helmet like this. You're dead. But Whoa. who hit you was the other car. It wasn't me. Hey. Start running your GoPro again. Right? Shouldn't Gabe start running the GoPro? Isn't it better for multiple views? Heck, Miguel ended up P2. I didn't even turn mine on. I forgot. Oh, my God. <laughs> So we've been thrashing putting the carts together because the pre finals did not go well. So they, I had a spindle fixed, loop chain pin gold, all front end was rear adjustment. So tie rods? Tie rods were good. Okay. Right. I hit the wall dead like straight. Yeah. So he hit the wall um, avoiding heat that spun out in front of him. Um, you'll see in the video I got hit. And then I just went to do some clutch maintenance. I gave it to Chris to do clutch maintenance. But when we took the clutch off, there's nothing but grease on my clutch. So that's why I was slipping. Cause I was like, man, everybody's just destroying me out of the turns. So we got dad here. I don't think he's watched any of the races. He's been on his phone the whole time. He didn't watch mine. I did something up. Hey, that's a, that's a spot in the So here we go. Finals coming up. Can I go from the back all the way to the front? He's gonna wreck me. I know he's gonna wreck me. <laughs> it's gonna turn out bad. On to the finals. On to the finals. It was gonna be a doozy. I was starting on the outside, P6. Um, the number 37 motor shut off. I raised my hand up in the air. I didn't think it was gonna get his uh, fired off all the way. Uh, good job by Josh, the flagman, to see that there was an issue. Uh, he waved off to start. So. Basically, when I saw him pull, uh, like look down, pull down, just to try to refire the engine, I raised my hand. I was like, no, nah, I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't want to go. But then he leaves a massive gap starting this time. I was like, what the heck? Well, that backfired. Uh, and then you can see uh, Phil uh, blowing by me uh, after his spin. So he was a man on the mission. Yeah, he was, uh, <laughs> he was looking to go forward and, uh, you know, take names for sure. Um, I drove my heart out. I really did. I was competitive for the first, I don't know, maybe five to six laps. Not even that. Probably the first two laps I was decently competitive. And after that, the cart just got extremely, extremely tight for sure. Uh, I make a move here on the 44, get on the inside. Uh, he's going to get back around me because, you know, if you take that move, uh, you really kill momentum. So I have a nice little cool battle here with him. Uh, he goes in and I cross him back up. That's what usually happens in that scenario. So it worked out uh, perfectly. And then I just saw everybody just start driving away. So that was uh, really cool to see. <laughs> oh, man. I just, uh, just one of those weekends. But I was very happy to see everybody else up front. Uh, James did an amazing job this race. Uh, Phil was real fast, but then his chain... Uh, jumped out of the sprocket and uh, he burnt the clutch up and chain and he fell off the race uh he had a lot of speed matt had a lot of speed um everybody was running really close consistent lap time so so basically if you didn't get a good start at the beginning of the race it was just going to be hard to make any ground but overall good final solid day uh not where i want to end up but thanks to everybody tb cart usa the thanks vtm racing for all the help so let's go on to the next one for sure so we just finished our final in heavy and when i say that we missed the setup setup matters we missed the setup not by a little bit by a lot uh so we were out there the carts both of them were pretty much stuck to the track um like glue and uh, they could, at least mine never broke free. How about yours, Jorge? Nope. So now we're thrashing on Miguel's cart over there, getting help from Dylan, who's his competitor, um, to try to set it up a little bit better for him for his final. So, and we're gonna do some changes for tomorrow. A lot, like a lot of changes. The fact that Jorge's working on the cart already, like we just came off the track and he's already working on the cart. Yeah. That's that's rare. That's not normal. Especially here at Orlando. This is bad. Yeah. So I lost six tenths from pre-final. 
How about you, Holly? I actually picked up two turns. Oh. Still not fast enough. Oh, no. Oh. The leader's running 105.7, except for Phil Fair ran 105.5. And I was 106.2s, but consistently in the 106.2s. Yeah, 106.3s for it me. It just, so. every time I turned, it felt like the motor was lying, but it was just, just grip. Just grip, just grip, just grip, grip, grip. It wasn't grip. the motor. The motor was good. It is the motor. And what Chris did to the clutch work, it was the grip on the, the grip. Too much grip, so. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna move some stuff around and uh, have, a good have a good day tomorrow, so. Again, a lot of people are here practicing for two days, three days, and all that. We literally got here last night. And, uh, There's no excuse. It's not a excuse. There's no excuse. This is our home track. We should be kicking ass and whatnot. Oh, well. We got tomorrow. All right, let's see what the final brings for Miguel.